February of 2014, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders recognized pathological gambling as a mental disorder. With concern growing globally by mental health professionals as regards gambling addiction, the mental health professionals of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, mindful of the addiction's impact, saw fit to hold the first gambling awareness symposium. The one-day event was held recently at the Church of God Auditorium by Sandlands Rehabilitation Center in conjunction with the Bahamas Gaming Operators Association. Minister of Health, the Honorable Duane Sands, said the event was very important important. History reveals that informal gaming has been present in the Bahamas for generations, as far back as the early 1800s. But it was not until 1901 that the government of the day passed legislation prohibiting gambling in the Bahamas. Gambling and problem gambling have been in almost every sense a hidden problem. For most of our lives, it has been a vice that persons have secretly indulged. And for that reason, unlike most of the public health challenges in the Bahamas, we lack fundamental empirical data which we can quantify, which we can analyze, so that we can address the problem. So I am very conscious that today's workshop speaks to the need to increase our capacity as healthcare providers, social workers, law enforcement, educators, gaming industry professionals, and as members of the general public, to identify and address signs of problem gaming and gambling addiction. Minister Sands called on participants to be proactive. I would be remiss if I did not call upon the mental health professionals, addiction care providers, social workers and others to conduct the kind of peer review research and documentation that would allow policy, make, policy makers to arrive at decisions which are in the best interest of this country. The Minister of Health said the Pennsylvania Gaming Board notes that although problem gambling often goes unrecognized, it is a serious workplace issue with a negative impact on performance and productivity. The Center for Addiction and Mental Health, Canada's largest mental health teaching hospital and one of the world's largest and leading research centers, further notes that gambling not only gets in the way of work productivity, but also harms a person's mental and social health. And so in recognition of these challenges, beginning in January 2018, the Public Hospital Authority and Sandlands Rehabilitation Center set out to launch a program to achieve the overarching goal of integrating gambling addicting addiction services into our existing substance abuse program and at other healthcare service programs in the Bahamas. It is therefore my hope that this first gambling addiction symposium will begin a national dialogue that will continue to engage communities and families all across the Bahamas. I'm Synovia Williams, and this has been a BIS Update.